from being a little kid, swinging on a swing set, jumping off, catching air and feeling like this is the best thing in the world. I wanted the most freedom I could possibly have. My dad told me about bikes that were capable of flying through the air. I needed one. My friendship with Scott was built on BMX. You all right, man? As unstructured as BMX seems, there's a lot to know about it. And Scott taught me everything he knew. He took me to my first skate park, taught me how to manage fear, and showed me that bikes can be a tool for creativity. With what he taught me, Scott had unknowingly affected the course of my life in a way neither of us could have imagined. And now I'm in a position to do for Scott what he did for me. So how many times have you been on a mountain bike? No, never. I love Austin more than anything I do, but it's so cool being in the mountains. I've never been in the mountains before. All right, so hop on, take her for a little spin. Tell me what you're feeling. I always felt like a mountain bike was what you use when you wanted to kind of amp it up a tiny bit, but still take it easy. Try and bunny hop. Like try and get the bars up to your waist. So now I get on this bike after never touching a mountain bike, never using gears, never using brakes, and I started bouncing around in the parking lot, and I'm like, well, this is, this is not gonna be good. How am, I gonna, how am I gonna juice a jump on this thing, you know? It's gonna take my power away, right? Brakes are for going slower. It felt like it was made to cushion and relax everything. So just hold my wheel. Holy sh... Whoa! Huh. I feel like the seat's a little too high. Whoa! I'm not trying that yet. People are, are people following me? How much crazier does this get? Going down the trails though, pretty quickly I realized why the suspension is there. rode on the loam, I ate it. I went over the bars, hit a pine tree. You all right? Yeah, this thing sucks. I was like, this sucks. And I was like, no, I suck. <laughs> I didn't get a single look from anybody when I was riding terribly. Or having to hike down a trail because it was you know, too hard for me when I'm trying to learn. I didn't get a single look and you know, sometimes you gotta show up at a skate park and, and kind of prove yourself before you feel like you belong there. And I didn't feel that at all. Off the big one. So when I got out here and I started jumping, I would just push into the lips as hard as I could and just yank back. Apparently everybody tells me I was going slower than I should have been and going higher and further than I should have been. I thought a BMX bike was the perfect flying machine. There was something about being in the air on this thing that I just felt like I could just go so fast and roast off a lip. And I got that feeling that I got from BMX. Ever since being on the swing set, I thought to myself, you know, I have to find something. 
now I need a bigger swing set, right? And this just opens it up in a completely different way. I was looking at rocks that looked like a launch in a land. And I was like, is that possible? And, and that really ignited that kind of, that feeling of being a kid, just trying to see, you know, how far I can go and how high I can go. We're not kids anymore and we're getting older and we want the same thrill in my limited experience. The risk versus reward factor in mountain biking, you get rewarded no matter what. I love BMX and I think that it's the best community in the world. I really do. And I almost feel a little bit guilty, you know, saying like, I love what I just did because I feel like I'm betraying what's been so good to me, but it's just right and it feels awesome.